Hey guys, it's Frosty back at you one more again. Thank God, it's a blessing to see another day. Um, if this is your first time coming to my channel, please like, subscribe, um, hit the notification button down at the bottom so you'll be able to get first dibs on um, basically seeing my videos when they come out. So, um, I hope everybody's doing good today. What is today? Actually, on this Wild Out Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday. Yes, yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> it's been one of them long days. I've been working all day, so I haven't made a video in a few days. Um, the last one I did was about my dad's birthday and my mom's birthday. So, today I'm bringing a video uh, to you about speak positivity into your existence speak positivity into your life you know even though things are negative that you are going through speak positive things into your life you know i do affirmations every day i try to do them every day um if i don't do them the first thing in the morning i'll try to do them you know the last thing i do before i go to bed and um they i promise you they do work um it is just like so many crazy things that's just been going on. I have, ever since this, this union me and my, my dad has had, now all of a sudden, um, I was telling my friend Jen uh, the other day, I have the urge, sudden urge to uh, play the guitar. Like, I was about to go nuts. I'm hearing my dad's playing in, you know, different performances, and I'm hearing him stroke those keys, and it's just like driving me nuts. Like, oh my gosh, if I don't hurry up and put my hands on a damn guitar, <laughs> I'm about to lose my mind. Because I know the last time I wanted to play was when I was like seven or eight years old. And I basically got punished because when I was at church, uh, one of the church members, they, they had um, a guitar. And I was like, oh my gosh, can I please play? He's like, oh, you want to play? That's how I always wanted to learn how to play. I play the piano, but I always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. And so uh, when my adopted dad seen me, you know, touch the guitar, I basically, no, don't you. Don't you touch no guitar. You will never be like him. And I always try to figure out, you know, who is him? You know, I'm trying to figure out who he is. You know, trying to figure out who that is. But, you know, I, I always, it was just so crazy. It's like, you know, seeing the things like when they make movies, like the reels or whatever they want to call them, um, documentaries about my dad. And it's just seeing so much of his life growing up. It's like, wow, our lives are somewhat we have so much in common and it's just so crazy I'm, i mean i've always loved to sing i've always everybody always used to tell me growing up you know you always look like you should have been in the middle of a stage performing somewhere you know i always got to be the center of attention all the time singing and you know cutting up in front of people just to entertain them all the time and they just used to they loved it so um it, it's just a lot of things that is going on it's like you know, when you're going through stuff, you're, like I said, you're going to have all these different emotions. You're going to go through things and you, you don't understand why you're going through them, but you know you're going through it for a reason. You know, it might take you a minute to try to understand, you know, look, there must be something in my life I have to change. And I'm, I'm learning that every day. You know, I, I get to the point where I'm just like, I'll be wanting things microwaved. <laughs> I want my life to change right now. But you have to realize you have to go through a process. You have to go through a process to get to where you need to be because it, it's like looking at how you know my life was growing up it's like since that oneness that i have i see things from basically to the beginning of time with me um from the time i was born you know to like until now i'm just like wow um i really want through some hell <laughs> i really 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 want to do some hell but i had to go do this stuff just so i'll be able to tell you guys about it and just let you know things you're gonna go through things and you're going to get through it you are i mean you're not gonna have you know skipping through the tulips you know, type of mood every day, but you have to, you know, you have to think it's going to be like that. Even though it's hard, you know, your mindset, you know, especially if you're like, you got a job you don't want to go to, and you're like, oh, no, you know, you got this person, you don't work your nerves, and, you know, you don't know what you got to do today, or, you know, is it going to be one of those easy going days, or it going to be a long one, or whatever. But it's all on how you present it to yourself in your mind. Only you can have control of your destiny like that. Only you can have control. You only, you don't want to give the keys 
to your life to somebody and let them put them in your pocket or let them drive off but you don't let nobody do that to you and I have to I have to teach myself that every day and it's like you know I keep on saying I, I have to be grateful for the little blessings for me to appreciate these big blessings I know I'm about to get and it's like you know trying to stay stress free I'm just like oh my goodness I got too much stuff going on financial home life you know things about to wreck my nerves you know I thought uh my daughter um she's uh about to have a baby soon so I thought she was about to go in labor so I'm just like oh my gosh you know I said I'm not ready for all this already <laughs> so it's just really crazy but I just see it, it's just like um I know I have a story to tell to reach out to people um yes I am Prince's daughter but it's not all about that it's like you know I gotta tell you guys this is what I went through this is you know I, my love for music I, you know I was banned from anything that mirrored my dad at all I had to have it cut off and it, you know, I still look at my dad's pictures and I, it feels so surreal to me. It's like if I tell somebody's story, they say it sounds like a Cinderella story. I'm like, yeah, I'm waiting for my my prince, my knight in shining armor to come save me, you know, and he saves me every day by helping me get stronger. Because, I mean, these things I've went through, um, his, I mean, this gift is just so beautiful to me. I mean, sometimes it can seem like a curse because it, it it, it can be too much at times because some things that I've went through it's like dad how do you heal when you don't have the full story you know you only have one side of the story like my dad says there's always two sides to every story and it's like when the other person's not being honest and you know this person needs to heal even though you know what you've done is so I mean un, you can't even build nothing back up from that because it is is just so much damage but you know when somebody has to heal you have to I have to heal without even knowing the full story of my life and that I mean that takes a lot of strength to do where I can I mean like I can have a day where I'm just bawling my eyes out looking at my dad and trying to figure out why is this happening to me why would somebody you know so beautiful and so well loved as you why would somebody want to keep your child away from you like that you know what was the deal and it, it, it's just like going through this stuff and making these videos it makes me feel better it makes me feel stronger and let lets me know that you know things are gonna be okay and I know I mean I'm just getting so much clarity like I, I mean I'm taking a shower and it's just anybody that has met my dad knows that he is the king of surprises or sneaking up on you playing pranks on you and he loves to do that you know, I'm just out here listening to music and, you know, in the shower, I submerge my, my head under water. Next thing you know, I hear, hey, baby. I'm like, ah! <laughs> you know, trying to cover myself up. He's like, look, you are me. I am you. I'm not looking at that. I need to talk to you. <laughs> and I'm just like, why now? And he's like, well, this is the only way I can get your attention. But he was just letting me know, you know, things are going to be okay. You know, he said, I hate the way things are going because he, he can see, you know, I mean, I can actually feel the like he was kind of a little irritated a little bit not with me but the way things are I guess because I don't have patience I don't know if it's just my you know my feelings or whatever but you know I can he, he you know he it just seemed like he was trying to share with something but you know he was just like you know things are going to be okay I know you don't you don't like the way things are but they're going to be okay you are where you're right right where you're supposed to be everything is happening right where it's supposed to be so I'm like, okay, daddy, you know, I just don't want to, you know, get my hopes up or anything. That's why I said I'm just going to go ahead and just keep that one, that, this little blessing to myself. And you know, just hope and pray. Just guys, keep me up in your prayers, you know. Um, I, I mean, it's just, I've been through so many routes with the lawyers and trying to contact my family and they're not responding to, you know, people that are actually close to my dad and still hasn't responded. But it's okay. Because it's just like, if you really don't know the full story, you know, I never know what my side of the family has told my dad. So I really don't know. But um, you never know what story they, they were told. So, you know, I have to look at, the, look at it from a big picture. So I can't get upset, you know, but it just makes me feel good that I'm able to. Um, I see that I'm getting a lot more views on people seeing 
in my different videos. And that, that makes me feel good. You know, because I know some we're going through so many heartache issues, you know, madness, chaos, whatever. You you actually need to see a video that's actually positive. It's not about fighting. It's not about police brutality or somebody getting shot, beheaded, or anything like that. It's about something positive. You know, I don't want to speak on anything negative. You know, I, I mean, I have my moments where I can be like, Ugh, you know, why is this stuff like the way it is? Why does it keep happening the way it is? But when you're going through stuff, when things are falling apart, they're actually coming back together. You know, you have to lose yourself to find yourself. And I mean, I'm learning that every day. <laughs> you got to learn to love yourself more. You know, things that you, that, that, that another resonate with you, doesn't serve you, you know, you gotta let go of those things, those old habits, you know, live for the better, you know, don't live for the, the past, and I'm trying not to live for the past, but it's, it's hard to let go, but it's getting better every day, so, um, I won't even sugarcoat that, <laughs> you know, I, it's just, I have my moments, but it's just like, now, it's more of me knowing my dad, you know, knowing, getting inside his head a little bit, and you know feeling the experiences that he has of like performing or you know doing certain things and you know i actually got to see my grandmother maddie today and it was just that was so um, it was like an emotional surreal situation because I, I like visualized her and like oh my god i'm like grandma maddie she's like hey baby i'm like hey you know and i just got so shy around her i was just like oh my gosh but just for those split few minutes um she was the feeling i got it was like she was so headstrong and it's like she tells you how it is <laughs> and i kind of see where i get that from and she was just telling me baby you are so strong and um you're you're here you're here and things are happening where they're going to happen but your blessings are here and it was just so good just to see my grandmother and just be able to tell her I loved her and she told me she loved me too and I felt good and I mean I was just like dad you know it's just I, I'm very grateful for the little blessings that I get that when I'm able to see my dad and feel my dad I get so nervous when he gets around and I don't know why I do that I don't know if it's just because it's him or I used to get excited like that even when I got off got on the phone with him when I knew him as Uncle Roger, you know, the family friend. I used to get really nervous, like jittery. But, um, I'm just like, you know, I mean, things are gonna, you're gonna go through stuff, but you're gonna make it. You, you're, you're going through things for a reason, but they're not always gonna be that way. You have to think that. You're going through this for a reason, and it makes you stronger. You don't want it to either make you or break you, and you don't want it to break you. You don't want whatever you're going to, you know, you don't want that over your head. You don't want to have a label over yourself. You know, I'm the victim. You never want to be a victim to anything that you're going through. You don't want to let that define you. You're like, okay, yes, I've been beaten. Yes, I've been, you know, in an abusive relationship or I've been abused by my family. But you know what? It's made me a better person. I'm not going to let this define me. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to make this, make me, you know, have my heart hardened because I know that not everybody in the world is like that so it's just like you, you have to take control of it and grab it by the you know grab it by the horns and keep it moving just keep charging and i'm going to keep you guys in my prayers you know i'm listening to this soothing healing music and it makes me feel so doggone good because after the week i've had oh my gosh <laughs> it's just you know I, I said things have got to get better they have to and um, I will keep you guys in my prayers as, you know, I hope you will with me. Please, you know, once again, if this is your first time coming to my, my channel, welcome. Please, you know, share share my videos. I appreciate that. If you do, please like and subscribe. And that will actually be very appreciated if you could do that also right there at the bottom. And I will talk to you later. It's my beloveds. And I will see you soon. Love you. Peace. Wow.